Hello everyone, my name is Dawn and welcome to Goodisms and today I have a very exciting tutorial for all of you aspiring calligraphers out there who wanted to learn how to do calligraphy. I was once in your shoes, I really didn't know how to do it or what tools to use or where to start. So I'm going to give you a really quick and easy, simple tutorial on how to do calligraphy and by the end of this video, you are going to want to write on everything. So calligraphy in its very basic form is just a technique of how to write beautiful letters. And so there's two things you need to know. Heavy pressure on the downstroke and light pressure on the upstroke. And that's it. You know everything. If only it was that simple. Now we need to practice. So now we're going to practice together. What I want you to do is I want you to grab a sheet of paper. It can be regular printer paper, school ruled paper, college ruled. Um, whatever, the back of a bill, doesn't matter. Just grab a sheet of paper and grab something to write with. Okay, let's get started. So what I have here is regular old computer paper. You can use whatever paper you have. You can use graph paper, lined paper, whatever it is. I'm using regular computer paper. And for your tool, um, you can use pretty much whatever pen you, or pencil you find. Uh, these are brush pens. You can use those if you have those, but I'm going to assume that this is your first tutorial and you might not have these just yet. So you can use a soft leaded pencil. I'm using my kids uh, 6B pencil. B is what you're gonna want to use for pencils because it's soft leaded and you're gonna really be able to see the difference um, between the downstrokes and the upstrokes. Or you can use a regular ballpoint pen. So I'm going to use the soft leaded pencil. And what we're gonna practice first is the pressure of the upstroke and the downstroke. And the upstroke is when your pen moves up downstroke is when your pen moves down and all we're going to do is we're going to draw wavy lines on the paper just so you can get a nice feel of the pr different pressures so you're going to do hard pressure down light pressure up hard pressure down light pressure up and you can see the difference in thickness from going hard pressure to light pressure hard pressure to light pressure. You see how thick it is when you move down with a harder pressure and how light it is when you move up with the lighter pressure. And with this is going to take practice because once you get really good at this, you're going to be doing it without even thinking about it. But since this is a beginning basic tutorial, all we're going to do is just practice this movement over and over again until you get a nice feel for the pressure. And move the other way, so from right to left, light to heavy, light to heavy, light, heavy. Don't worry about it looking nice. This is really about practicing the feel of the light pressure versus heavy pressure. Don't worry about writing in straight lines. Like I said, this isn't about it being neat. This is about the technique all about technique right now. You can practice straight lines and neatness and all of that later. Okay, once you feel like you've gotten this down, we are now going to start writing letters. I'm going to write the alphabet because writing the alphabet, I feel, is the best practice that you can do when you're starting with calligraphy. I'm not going to do cursive. I'm going to do regular letters. You can do A, light, heavy. And when you go down, and when you go move down with the heavy, and transition from light to heavy, you want to kind of gradually push it down. Light and gradually push down to heavy. Light, gradually push to heavy, and you light coming back up. Heavy. Even when you move sideways, you're going to do light pressure. And then now it's going to get to heavy and then back to light. You see how it's thin to thick to thin. That's what you want. Light, heavy, light, heavy. The more you do this, 
the more natural it'll become. You won't even think about it when you're writing. Even if you have to talk out loud, just say heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, heavy, light, heavy, light. You can see as you look at the alphabet, all of the downstrokes are thick, all the upstrokes are light, even the sideways strokes are light. And it really is easy with calligraphy when you're doing cursive. All you're going to do is when you connect the next letter, you're just going to make kind of like a half line going up to the next letter. So you light, heavy, light. Heavy, light. You see how I kind of stop half in this halfway. Imagine there's a imaginary halfway line going through all of the letters. You want to stop the upstroke at the halfway point, and then you draw the next line touching that point. So that's heavy, light, heavy, light, light, heavy, light, light. Heavy, light, heavy, and I stop there. Heavy, light, light, heavy, light, light, heavy, light. And you want to make sure you go slow. This is how you have more control. Even when I'm doing the more detailed calligraphy design, I don't go fast. I go super slow because you want to make sure you get your form down. You want to make sure that you have enough pressure, even pressure moving down the letters. Do not go fast. That's rule number two. Don't go fast. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now we're in H. Heavy, light. Heavy, light. Heavy, light, dot, heavy, light, heavy, 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 light, light, heavy, light. Heavy, light, heavy, light. And you will get better with this the more you practice. This is a practicing skill. You're going to want to practice as much as you can. I suggest just having like um, a small notebook and then every day, just practice your alphabet over and over and over and over. You're going to get really, really good at it. See how I'm writing? I'm not even writing in a straight line. It's kind of slanting upwards. Don't even worry about it. Heavy. All right, in the next line. Heavy. Light, heavy, light. Oops. See my U? I'm going to redo my U. This is heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, 
heavy light, heavy light. For X, I just kind of go down and come back up and then finish the line. Y is heavy, light, heavy, light, and then heavy, light, heavy, light. So you can really see, you can see how much pressure I'm putting. The more pressure I put down, the thicker the line will be. So I didn't put as much pressure, but you can still see the difference. So heavy, 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 heavy. And then these have really heavy pressure. So you can get a nice contrast between the heavy and light. That's really all that it is, is the technique of going, putting pressure down, light pressure up, heavy pressure down, light pressure up. And you're gonna do that and just connect the letters together. And that's it. That's really all there is, a really basic um, tutorial of how to write calligraphy. You can practice with, like I said, you can practice with different pens. This is a ballpoint pen. You can do, let's see, make sure this pen works. Light, heavy, light. Even if you can't really see it, you can still practice technique with just any old pen. Because really, it's about all about the feel. It's not really about how it looks right now. You're just practicing the technique of the heavy light. And if you have a calligraphy pen, you can practice with that as well. Light, heavy, light. And every pen has a different feel. So the upstroke, you'll really want to get a feel for how light you want to do your upstroke. Even with this, this is like a harder brush pen, the Tombow. Some pens are easier to write with, some pens are harder to write with, and you're going to find that out. The more you do this, and the more pens that you have, and the more tools that you have, you're going to find your favorites, and you're going to find ones that aren't your favorites. <laughs> but it really is good to write with as many different ones as you can to really get a feel for all the different ones that you like. And then once you get really good, you can start doing more flourishes. That's not a D, that's a B. You know what? I can make that into an L. There we go. <laughs> this is why you go slow. When you start thinking about other things, could mess you up. I mess up all the time. If you guys could see the behind the scenes of how many times I've written the same word over and over and how many misspellings I've done, oh my gosh. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make a video <laughs> of all the, the behind the scenes mess ups that I do. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments. But that's it. I hope I was able to break this down for you in the most simple way. Like I said, you don't need anything fancy right now. It's really just getting the feel of the pen in your hand and how much pressure to use. That is the best way to get started with calligraphy. Thank you guys for watching. On the next videos, I will show you more in-depth details on different styles of calligraphy, different tools you can use, and different um, flourishes that you can do with calligraphy. It's going to be so much fun. So I look forward to sharing those videos with you. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love all you guys. So I'll see you guys on the next video.